Hi guys, it's Peter and welcome to our channel. And today it's gonna talk about my uh, one wheels. I got GT, I got XR. I love them both. I mean, I do like uh, X, uh, I mean, one wheel device. I'm riding a one wheel for well, over three years so far. My first was XR, then GT, then XR VESC. And uh, for the last uh, couple months or so, I was working on a secret project. No one knows about what I was doing. And uh, since I really love my XR with, with VESC platform, I every time when i doing some upgrades, modding, it's always bringing higher and higher to, uh, to a higher level. And today I'm gonna introduce you something unique, something special, no one done before. Uh, pretty much is the first one wheel platform device which has a EUC range. I'm talking about around 50 mile on a single charge. Pretty much, uh, here's my XR VESC. I modified it. I, I mean, I redesigned the rails a little bit, even outside looks almost identical to what before. Uh, because uh, pretty much uh, this wheel has right now 18S three piece. It, I, I use it two rear box at the Badger boxes from Fro Life, and they fit. They can fit maximum 18 cells, 18S two piece. That's what they got on the back. On the front, I got uh, 18S one P. Pretty much those two packs makes uh, 18S three piece. Uh, cells I'm using um, a Molly cell uh, 21700 series, 42 uh, P42A. I really love those cells and the cells uh, I, I got same on my GT, works pretty good. Uh, pretty much now this board uh, has 50% more battery power wise, I mean the capacity than original GT. Uh, still running on the Hypercore uh, original motor, but VESC setup, we all know, it's way, way powerful than GT. Pretty much, I made my dream machine, and now it's capable with lighter guy. I'm not going to say it will do 50 mile with fat dude like me. I'm almost... Uh, well, I got scary numbers. <laughs> uh, it's uh, in the 270 plus, you know. But lighter guy, we in um, 150 or so or less, it will able to do on this board around 50 mile, which is really impressive. Uh, to build that, to make that build, it actually requires two Badger boxes, plus the chassis. I mean the rails, the front end you have to modify it because it will simply the badger bags the rear badger bags will not fit in the front uh, i mean from from here from that distance you will not recognize it but i relocated uh the charging i mean the power button and the charger uh, port uh, slightly tor towards forward because the badger bags when you install it if you're using the same same opening same holes it, you have to drill it right in the support uh, part, I mean the, the, the support strut for uh, for screw, and I didn't want to do that. Pretty much, I welded the, that hole. I mean, you can still see that the spot where there used to be opening for for power button. Now it's a charging port. I relocated, and uh, the board's running on a little fucker. It's actually really it work. I mean, the same controller what I used to have. This platform, I really love it the way it is. I did rode it uh, for first time yesterday, uh, not outside because the, the weather is it's kind of bad, uh, indoor in a warehouse. And the main thing, as soon as you hop on that board, you recognize it, how, how more balanced that board compared to the T. I mean, because it has a half pack of a rear pack in the front now, uh, pretty much the board is more balanced it's got probably a, ha a pound and a half a different between front and back. Pretty much when you hop in, you don't have to lend it, I mean, uh, let's say lend it, lean it forward a, a lot as much as you do before. I mean, you just slightly up, 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 I mean, move, move it way, I mean, transfer it way to forward and the board already spins up. I was gonna show you something. Uh, here I got two, two cans of cola. I mean, standard sealed colas. 
and pretty much if I lay it in the front, that that example is just show you how well it balanced. I mean, how close to I'm not saying it's a 50 50, it's probably 40 to, to 60 or so. But two, two cans of cola, and it's ready, it's ready overweighted front, front end. If we do the same test with GT, you will need five and a half cans, pretty much the better. Uh, better uh, weight distribution it will give you uh, I mean more stability stable board when you're running well guys pretty much that, that's all I got for this video I hope it was not too long not too boring I'm really excited to bring you guys uh, my new uh, prototype <laughs> of XR I, I probably was gonna call XR 50 because now it will be able to do a 50 mile on a single charge well if you guys do like it thumbs up if you don't want to miss any future videos subscribe we will really appreciate. Thank you.